uncomfortable. Right, here but we I go. shall begin. See this picture down here, which, which we've painted ourselves. Do you know what they are in the back? What do they look like? They are, but they're very, very old elephants that look a bit different. Can, do you know what came before elephants that looks roughly the same with the long trunks? Begins with a mu. Mammoth. They're mammoths. So these are the sorts of things that lived here many, 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 many years ago. And what he's got in his hand looks like a piece of rock, but it's an axe that he's made. And one of the axes that he's made is like those. You see those three axes in the middle? They're the, they're the same sort of thing. So a lady came to us and said she'd found these in a village quite close to Benhamster when she was a little girl. And she said, they're hand axes, which they are, because you just hold them in your hand like that. And you can see they're different shapes. So one of them would be for knocking the mammoth on the head and killing him. And the other one's just different shape. is for scraping the skin off so you can get to the meat underneath, because that's what we're trying to do. They, they eh, mammoths. Mammoth and chips, mammoth and salad, <laughs> mammoth and pasta, all sorts of things were possible in those days. So those three rocks that look like rocks were in fact made by men. But when I say they were made by men, they weren't really made by men because this was before men existed. Right? You, I mean, we call ourselves people now and humans and we're called homo sapiens. Have you heard anybody talk about that before? Now that, that's, that's our breed as it were, but before us, there were people who were uglier than we are, who were called Neanderthals. And before the Neanderthals, there were people like that chap up there. Can you see him on the wall? Homo heidelbergensis. He's pretty, isn't he? <laughs> Somebody like him made those three stone axes. And all they did, they didn't live anywhere. They moved with the herds of animals where they went. So when, when they'd killed their mammoth and they'd skinned the mammoth and they'd eaten the meat, they moved on to where the mammoths, the rest of the mammoths had gone next. So they threw these away and made some more the next place they stopped. Yeah. And these are the ones they left behind. And there were so few of them where we live now that they just happened to be coming through Bemster at the time and they dropped them off very nicely for us to put on a shelf. <laughs> so roughly, so what time scale are we looking we, at? We, are, um, we have to be charmingly vague about this. At least 250,000 years. Possibly 800,000 years. Really? The first men, that are, sorry, the first Homo heidelbergensis people that have ever been known in this country, as we come now, are the Haysborough men from Suffolk, because they found their footprints on the beach. That was 800,000 years ago. So we're not going to claim that, but definitely older than 250,000 years. And or, or, which is two, 20,000 generations, if you want to put it that way. Yeah? So Henry VIII was 20 generations ago. This is 20,000 generations ago. Wow. It, it boggles the whatnots, doesn't it? Doesn't it, Joe? Yeah. <laughs> and, and you were saying that the uh, Homo Heidelberger... Uh, yes. Uh, uh, came from Cheese, Germany. Cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think... Well, right, Neanderthal is a place just outside Dusseldorf, for instance. So where they first oh, found right. the traces, I think they named them after that. So this is a Heidelberg. Oh, I see. But, but because... I was thinking of a printing machine. Yeah, yeah, because Britain wasn't an island then, you could just walk across, which is what this map is showing here. Right, I see. Then they could have you know, just decided they wanted to go for a walk for a few months, and they followed the mammoths across, and they finished up about there, which is where we are. I see. That's fascinating. But they, they didn't write anything down. They didn't leave any notes, so we can't be absolutely certain. But that's the view of the expert. Which is not bad for a little place like Bannister. It's not bad at all, is it? And it's better than a typewriter! It really is better than a typewriter! <laughs>